Hey guys, I'm Monsel and today we're going to talk about phenylparacetam. Alright guys, phenylparacetam is not really the most well studied nootropic, but from the little bit of evidence that there is and a whole lot of anecdotal evidence from the community, we can typically uh, confirm that phenylparacetam is a great way of improving concentration and, and kind of physical stimulation and focus and it's also a mood booster and, and anxiety reliever for some people. So those are kind of the benefits and the side effects you have are some people have tolerance issues with phenylparacetam really quickly so they feel like they just can't use it all that often and get the same effect and also it is a relatively stimulating nootropic so some people can struggle from you know having it disrupt sleep or being able, unable to sleep when they desire like insomnia for example so those are some of the benefits and side effects but we'll get more into that in the next section all right guys so the benefits of phenylparacetam are kind of unique it is like as the name suggests it's a rastam so it's in that specific family of drugs that is predominantly used for memory enhancement or neuroprotection, uh, but phenylparastam is a, uh, a it's parastam, but it has an additional phenyl um, group attachment to it, the molecule, and this creates a completely different reaction within the brain and the body. And phenylparastam is really unique because it's so stimulating compared to many other uh, Rastams and even more so physically stimulating. So there's uh, evidence from the Olympic Anti Doping Agency that has banned phenylparastam from uh, use by Olympic athletes because it's so stimulating for them. Now, obviously, you and I don't have to worry about that, so we can use that to our advantage, maybe using it to go to the gym um, or do whatever professional work that you have that you like to have, you know, great stimulation and focus. Now, there are other people on Longevity and Reddit who talk about how great phenylparastam is for reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression, even as low as 100 milligram dosages. So phenylparastam is also considered a really good mood booster as well, but you have to try that out for yourself because there's not a lot of studies on the topic. Uh, the, the few studies that do exist on phenylparastam actually focus a little bit on recovery from either stroke or brain trauma. And one specific study showed that phenylparastam could improve uh, recovery by about 7%. So if you've had uh, some kind of brain trauma, it could be just from alcohol abuse, it could be from concussions or what have you, phenylparastam might be able to help with your neurological connections and the recovery that you see from those. So keep that in mind as one of the benefits as well. Now, the side effects of phenylparastam are relatively moderate. Some people complain that because it's so stimulating, it really disrupts sleep and they have a hard time sleeping. My only suggestion to that which would be just don't take it so late in the day. If you, if you plan on taking phenylparastam, try and take it earlier in the day, and you'll have less problems associated with the drug. Now, you also want to consider with phenylparastam, it's very unique in that there's a tolerance problem that many people complain of. And if you'll know from other rastams, they actually work by taking it over the long term. So prastam, if you take it over the long term, that's when you start to see the memory benefits. With phenoprastam, you may see memory benefits from taking it long term, but a lot of the stimulation and anti-anxiety benefits go away really quickly and suddenly you might feel like you need more and more phenoprastam. And that's the tolerance issue that some people complain of. So just keep that in mind. The way you might use fetal parastam might be to cycle it throughout the week.
maybe you have one day where you use caffeine, one day you use modafinil, one day phenylbrastam, uh, maybe siltap, and so you just use these over these different days, and that way your body never really uh, grows too tolerant to any one of these compounds. Um, that's a, a way that you can easily cycle caffeine so that you don't become addicted either. So those are some of the benefits and the side effects of phenylparastam. If you're interested in purchasing, we have a recommended vendor, which is Pure Nootropics, which you can find the link above. And Pure Nootropics, as we've mentioned, is a, a vetted vendor. We've actually gone in, seen their entire facility, and we have, we, we, trust them because they do third-party independent testing, they've got certificates of analysis, and they have a lot of transparency with all their um, you know, products and things of that nature. So we trust them, um, and if you're interested in taking phenylprastam, you can go ahead and click above. And if not, then I hope you have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos on this channel. So I'll see you next time.